mean, I can imagine, right, that you'd be surprised that this whole thing turned out the way it did. I don't think anyone knew. No one knew. I think it was, we were all so innocent and, you know, we were starting to realize when all this press, particularly from the U.S., started paying attention and we're like the New York Times, CNN, what's going on? And the Canadian press started taking notice and why is the American press yeah. paying attention? And I think that, you know, at first I think that people were actually worried, right, because the Danish cartoons had happened and people were like, wow, is, is, you know, is the Muslim community going to go crazy and flip cars in Toronto and burn down the CBC? Like, what's happening? What are they doing? You know, because let's face it, you know, when you do the first sitcom about Muslims, we didn't start with a, a couch in a living room. We started off with a comedy in a mosque right. about Islam. I mean, you, you know, you couldn't have gotten more edgier. And it's, that just... It's not historically around. considered the most fun of all the religions, right? You know, it's like on par with, you know, some of the yeah, yeah, right. some of the Christian Crusaders' lack of humor historically, right? Right. So were, were you nervous about uh, being um, sensitive to, to some of the audience? We knew we were always going to be sensitive. It was just, well, how could we make it really funny? Yeah. And so my, my thing was, how do I mine all this stuff from my childhood and growing up and make it into this really hilarious show? Well, let's play a clip here. Let's watch this clip here. From, this is the beginnings of the story, perhaps. I suggest you be very, very careful. Why? Why are you worried about this? you're going to make a lot of enemies. Why? You know how it is. Why would it upset Muslims for me to show that Muslims are not really acting like proper Muslims because... Because any negative media we get, you know how much of a problem it is, especially if it comes from a Muslim. That's even worse. That's your brother Dutch, right? Yeah. Uh, so that, t t tell us what that is. I was making a documentary called Me in the Mosque, and it was about... Um, the obsession of separation and segregation between the sexes and that a lot of times when we get imams you know coming from overseas they bring a lot of their cultural baggage and they impose it on the indigenous population and that causes conflict and so the idea of an imam that was born and raised in Canada um, coming into a mosque I go how would that change the dynamic of the community he would be more sensitive to the needs of women and young people and that's where the idea of the show came from.